Hey folks, so in this video we're going to talk about Intel's Turbo Boost and specifically why you might want to disable it. Now, I have had, you know, a lot of people ask me about that. Um, I've never actually bothered to compile all the reasons that I can think of, uh, as well as, you know, some Google searches. Uh, some of this stuff, you know, I, I just off the hand know from experimenting what it does. Other things, you know, yeah, I've come across it on the internet. And some of it is just, you know, overall brainstorming. So the brainstorming, you know, maybe that's, you know, not the most accurate thing. So we're going to go through my list. And uh, you'll find, you know, you really can't find a good list on the internet that explains all the reasons why you might disable Intel's Turbo Boost. So potentially maybe this is the best list on the internet now. So of course you go to Intel's website, you you know find this really minor stuff about uh, Turbo Boost. Uh, maybe it makes sense to you, maybe it doesn't. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Task Manager, okay? So just to make this uh, short and simple, hopefully it's short and simple, this i5-9600K base speed is 3.7 gigahertz. And offhand, I don't know what it turbos to, but it's uh, at least this value right here, right? So if I disable Turbo Boost, you will never see this, what the current speed is here, greater than the 3.70, right? Now, what does this mean, this higher number than 3.70? This is using more power, okay, than what this is. And to spare you guys details, uh, this CPU has six cores. Each one of those has a different multiplier. And each one of those, uh, you know, for the most part, may be running at a different uh, frequency. Now, there will be some with the same multiplier. They'll end up at the same speed. But in general, uh, you'll probably have at least three sets of cores that are running at uh, different frequencies. Okay, and of course, each one of those is using a different amount of power. Now, there are differences uh, along those lines. So if we talk i9-10900K, it has more cores, right? 10 cores, 20 threads. And we can see in here that there is a TDP of 125, somewhere in here, if I can find it probably scroll by it right there now does that mean the CPU is using only 125 watts uh, no there's a lot of things you can do to the CPU <laughs> uh, set your power limits higher uh, if you overclock the CPU and even adjusting the base clock frequency all those will drive the wattage greater than 125 and even even then just running at defaults occasionally you will notice uh, the values are greater than 125. So, what does Turbo Boost do to that? Well, it's pretty much going to cut that in half, right? So, if you stick with the default settings and you disable Turbo Boost, it will no longer be using 125 watts. It will be using somewhere in the 60 watt range. All right. Another example. So that was a unlocked chip. The i3-10100, which is a lock chip, it has a TDP of 65 watts. So if you were to disable Turbo Boost on this one, it would end up in the uh, 25 to 30 watt range, as I've messed around with that one. This one only has uh, four cores. All right, so you got a little bit of an idea of that, right? So all this translates uh, could translate to our number one on the list, which is probably the most realistic reason why you would disable Turbo Boost. And let me uh, go ahead and give you an example here. Now I don't know much about this gaming um, laptop here, but I do know it has an i9 in it. It's probably sucking up a lot of juice. And uh, so, why would I want to disable Turbo Boost with a laptop? Well, the reasoning be for that would be to prolong the battery's life, right? Uh, something like this, where you don't always need to be gaming, and you see this will go up to 5.3 gigahertz. 
um, you don't you don't need that to surf the internet, right? You don't need that to use Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, uh, a lot of stuff, even playing solitaire. You don't need that much power. So, uh, cutting back with the uh, cutting back by disabling Turbo Boost will definitely lessen the amount of power you're using, which will correlate to a longer battery life. All right. So that one is a, a definite reason. Now, since most of the time we spend here on this channel, desktop related, whether it be gaming, unboxing, building computers, we do so much crap on this channel. Let's talk about desktops. How would this help you uh, with desktops? So two main reasons, and then one of them is kind of a, uh, we'll say a brainstorm, but uh, Let's talk about just everyday computer use, right? People don't play games on their computers all day long, right? Some people do. Uh, you almost think that maybe I do from the amount of gaming videos I make. But, uh, you know, the truth is those only take, you know, 15, 20 minutes. And uh, boom, I can be back to doing whatever. So everyday internet surfing, MS Office, uh, internet, maybe some light gaming does not require you to have turbo boost. So let's go back to this. All right. Now I'm not even doing anything on here really. I move my mouse around. We're already turbo boosting to 4.46. Okay. So I'm wasting power. Now, of course, this, these two things kind of correlate. The higher this value is with the higher speed, definitely needs more powers being used. So uh, we didn't really talk about that aspect, but, uh, you know, there is another factor involved. Now, what would be nice is if I had this, uh, some other programs going where you could actually see how much wattage is being used. Now, I've done that in uh, a couple of my videos on the channel. So you will see, uh, instead of this guy peaking at... I think we've got about TDP of 95 watts. Um, when you disable Turbo Boost, this would then only uh, peak at about 45, 50 watts. This speed would get no greater than 3.7. And so you are saving power while you're doing those everyday tasks. All right. Reason three. Download video games, right? So... You're a gamer. All you do on your computer is game, right? At least you think that's all you do. Well, your computer, you may leave it on overnight to update Fortnite, download Fortnite, uh, maybe even Call of Duty, which is a ridiculously big file. Do you need Turbo Boost enabled, right? You're going to leave that computer on all night. I do not believe you do, right? So you could basically disable turbo boost and uh, you will use less power overnight while your computer's running now i haven't tested this this is kind of a theory of mine but uh as you saw from those spikes uh that more power is being used uh you probably do not need turbo boost while you're downloading all right i'm gonna go on a limb here but uh you I'm pretty sure you don't need it all right, so final reason. Let's go back to our i9. Once again, 125 watt TDP on this bad boy. Let's say you buy this and you're like, oh my God, it doesn't come with a CPU cooler. I didn't pay attention to Dave Noble's channel when he told me all those things about locked and unlocked processors and what Intel provides you. Didn't see that video didn't care, whatever it may be. I, though, have sitting around this wonderful Intel CPU cooler that, that's good enough to cool an i3 uh, 10100 or a Celeron or a Pentium. But beyond that, it's, it's pretty much worthless. I decide I'm going to use this with that i9. And lo and behold, my temperatures are rather hot all the time. Um and they're scary hot now what do i do well i could shut my computer down and wait for amazon to deliver let's see if i pull it up here 
one of these bad boys, right? Yeah, I've got a few of these. Freaking love Noctua. Um, Noctua, if you're out there, uh, please sponsor me. I will never say anything bad about you guys. All right. So you've got to wait, you know, right now it's the Christmas holidays. It could take weeks to get this CPU cooler. And where I'm at right now, which isn't in the U.S., it could take even longer to get that good old CPU cooler. So what's your stopgap? Um, stopgap is, to, you know, I'm going to keep this CPU cooler, but I'm going to disable Turbo Boost. Now, like I said, we're not going to talk about how to disable it in this video. I've I've shown that in a couple videos. Um, one would be this throttle stop software. Another is in the BIOS. The other is, if you know the Windows script to enable it or disable it, then enable it, you could go that route. So that's, you know, that's really my list, folks. Um, I don't know of any other reasons why you would do it. But uh, hopefully this helped you all out. Uh, hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, please like, please subscribe. And if you actually watch this far into the video, just like it anyways. Because, uh, you know, realistically, you liked it long enough to watch it, right? So deserves a like. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Have a good one. Happy holidays.